All right, so today I'm going to show you how to do animations. He just puked. That's the animation we're going to do. We're going to we're going to fall down. We're going to get real tired. We're going to fall down. We'll do the puke in the next video, but we'll do the whole animation today and then integrate it into this game. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so that we're all on the same page. I'm going to put this link in the description. You can click on it. It's the end of my second video for the Sprint Run Stamina. If you've done it and it works fine, you could use yours. But if you want to follow along exactly, just go to these three dots. You won't have this stuff down here, but you will have edit. When you click edit, it's going to open up the game in your Roblox Studio. And here we go. It's going to update. So I'm going to pause it while it updates. Oh, actually, I just saw that it was up to date. So um, it didn't take any time at all. Let's go ahead and get rid of this for now, this uh, UI down here while we're working on our animation. So go up to this eye this UI with an I there, click that, and it's gonna hide that. Cool, let's go to plugins, let's go to build rig, and then I'm gonna use an R15. If you like to use R6, that's fine, but if you're new at this, you should probably follow along with my R15 and then make the appropriate modifications for your R6, rather than just trying to do R6 right off the bat. I'm gonna hit this man rig here. I like, the, I like this rig because I can see the, uh, I can see the body parts easier. I'm going to look at them in this direction. So the Z right here is, is pointing this way to the left. All right, animation editor. And I'm going to go to these three dots here. Oh, we got to select a rig. Here we go. Gives you a little instructions. I'm going to call this face plant. Face plant. So this is the name of the animation. I'll show you where it's saved at. Hit these three dots. Set animation priority. And you might not be able to see these last two, that's fine. Um, the animation priority increases in priority as you drop down the list. We wanna overtake our movement with this action. So we're gonna need action, all right? And now let's go ahead and save it. We'll go over to our, our dummy, and then in here you're gonna see anim saves. That's where it's saved, face plant. So if you wanna modify your animation, you can just select this dummy, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna load whichever one you want, right? And then you just save it off. I do publish to Roblox, so you get the ID. That's what we're gonna to do today. Anyway, let's continue. So right here, we have our timeline for our animation. I have this in seconds, frames. So the first number is seconds, the second number is frames. So this is, within the zero second, right, zero to one, and then the third frame. That's actually this line right here. This blue bar is called the scrubber bar, and we move that when we're putting in our keyframes, and I'll show you how to do that too. If you wanna have the exact same timeline as me, go to this little cog thing in the corner, and then timeline units, I have second frames, but it should be fine frames. You, you, you won't be confused too much. And then frame rate, I have 30 FPS, That's that's fine, 30 frames per second. And then the playback speed, it defaults to one. That's what I'm gonna use. All right, cool. So I got this guy right here, and when he's running, I want this animation to overtake everything, all of his body parts, all right? So I'm gonna to go to this plus sign. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna hit add all. It's gonna add all 15 of his parts. Cool. Now, let's go to model real quick. And model, we have this rotate. I have that snap to grid checked for 15 degree increments. If you want to do it like, like me in this video, I would do 15 degree increments because I'm going to take advantage of this. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this lower torso here, scroll down to the bottom, shift, click, right hand, and everything is selected. And I want a keyframe for the start position for him standing just like this. Right, so because I'm on 15 degree increments, I can ever so lightly push on that, on one of these circles for the rotation, and I got keyframes without any movement because I didn't break the 15 degree threshold. Whoops, there you go. I thought we we're gonna, I thought we we're gonna lose it there. I didn't, I didn't break the 15 degree threshold. So that's pretty cool. All right, now I think I'm gonna go to like maybe the, the ninth frame. I'm going to grasp my stomach and kneel forward. I think I'll just click, I'll select this so these aren't all highlighted. 
and I'm going to get my upper arm first right there. If you can't get your upper arm, you can go down the list and I'll say right upper arm, All right? Right upper arm. If you select it like right lower arm, you'll see that it updates here. Unfortunately, if you select something here, it does not update in the list. That's a disadvantage. Well, I don't like it. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, it does show that. Let's get the right upper arm and we'll just put this up a little bit and we'll go over here. Other right upper arm, put that up a little bit and then let's just hold our stomach like we're, we're going to pass out. I'm going to go, well, let's get the lower arm for that. There we go. There's the lower arm. Cool. Let's get the other lower arm. There we go. So he's holding his stomach. All right. Now he's going to bend forward on his knees. He's going to fall to his knees. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that lower leg. I'm going to kick that up. And ideally I want my toes lined up with my knee. It's not quite. So I'm going to get the foot. I'm going to bend that a little bit too. There we go. I don't want any parts trying to poke through the ground. All right. So I'm going to get the lower the lower leg. We're going to come up. Oh, you know what? I don't even have to be that high. I think I'm going to drop it one. Same with the other side. I'm going to just bend that foot back a little bit. Yeah. Is that what it is on the other side? Okay, good, good, good. So now uh, I just noticed yesterday, I thought I was going to go, I was going crazy. If I want to move something and I click on it, like the lower torso is great for moving stuff. I used to be able, as of like two days ago, hit model and then hit move, but it does not do that anymore. And I saw on the forums, there's a glitch in the animation editor, but that's okay. We got a way around that. I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to get my lower torso. I'm going to hit R and that's going to make it switch. Hold on, let's do it again. Let's do a little movement. R, there we go. It's a little bit glitchy, uh, but they'll probably fix that. So what I did is I just pushed on that red, that red circle a little bit and then hit the R key and it switched. So there goes my Roblox stock again, right? There we go. We just move that up and then we're going to move them this way. Not into the ground though. That's pretty good. All right, and now for dramatic effect, let's move this leg out. I'm going to hit the R key again. It seems to go to the rotate easier. Move that out a little bit. Move that out a little bit. And I'll move, I'm going to move him back. Uh, like he's getting ready to hurl. There we go. Maybe the head a little bit too. Cool. Let's see what we got. Let's play it. So we have this little player here. Ah, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm all right with that. All right, let's click this right here, these keyframes. And we're going to copy them. I'm going to move my scrubber bar out to like maybe the 18th frame. We're going to hold that position. So I'm just going to paste in these keyframes. And now he's going to hold it. All right. And then I'm going to face plant. I'm going to do that kind of quick. So I'm going to put the scrubber bar right here and we need to move that torso again. Let's hopefully we have a little more luck with our R key. Boom. Ah, oh, first time. Perfect. All right. So that torso, that lower torso there needs to be right about here because he's going to come down that way. I'm just going to move it this way. That should work. And it, well, I almost slick, uh, selected that and then lost my, lost my animation editor. Hit the R key. And then we're going to go this way. That's not bad. And then hit the R key and let's move them down. Not in the ground though. The arms are okay. Let's just move them up a little bit because we're going to move those. Let's move the arms now. Grab that arm, that upper arm, hit the R key. Just go pull that out. Get the lower arm. 
pull that out. And we'll do it to the other side. And you are welcome to modify this as much as you want. It's going to take a long time to get good at this. I think maybe I'll move those arms up a little bit, get the upper arm. And then maybe go like this. Is that good? Maybe two will do it. Get the green. Uh, I think I'll do three. That's a good face plant. Cool. All right. And then this torso is going to come down. Click out here. Let's just go ahead and move that down. Oh, his arms are in the ground. Let's move it out a little bit. I'll just get that upper arm. That's good. Nice. And then like maybe he's gasping. Let's move this up like, no, I don't want to go down. I'll move these down, these lower legs. Cool. Might have to move that foot. There. Get that lower leg. One more. Get that foot. There we go. And then maybe, maybe here I'll just have them flop down. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab all these, copy them, and then maybe paste keyframes. And then here I'm just going to go a thump. And that's where we'll puke. Let's play it. Yeah, that's pretty good. So how do we get it to fire a puke? Um... We could have them lay there for a second and then puke, or not a second, but a couple frames. Maybe we'll do that. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's move to the second mark right here, and then paste keyframes. I'm gonna right click on one of these dots and then add animation event here. And then this event, I'm just gonna call this puke. And you can add parameters, but we're not going to. I don't need them. I'm just going to hit save. And that's where the puke animation is going to fire. I'm going to send that to the server to do that because we, we have to instantiate the puke on the server. All right, so this is at one second, but we want to hold this. So I'm going to go over here on the left, and I'm going to make this animation eight seconds long. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this right here, hit that top dot, right click, copy selected. I'm going to go, I'm going to put my scrubber bar at the eight, the eight second mark, and then paste keyframes. Now it's going to hold. Now I'll just go over here to these three dots. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to hit these three dots again. I'm going to publish to Roblox. And then let's call this face plant. Cool. Now we're going to click on this number with these little, these little squares. We're going to get these little squares. That's going to copy that number, that ID number. We're going to close this and we're going to go all the way down to, oh, we got to turn on our UI. See that little eye there? Click on that. We can get rid of this. We're going to go to our starter GUI, screen GUI, back frame, that holds everything. On the shift run, I'm going to hit the plus sign, and then if you have an animation there, I have it under frequently used, you could just, if you don't have it, you could just type in A-N-I-M, and you'll see animation. Let's call this face plant. I always cover that up by accident. Face plant. And then under ID, remember we have that ID in the buffer. I'll do a control V to paste it. Hit enter and the RBX asset ID colon slash slash will be prepended to it. Now let's open up our shift run script. And then we're gonna get we're gonna get access to that animation and then store it in a variable. So I'm gonna call that faceplant. Faceplant. 
There we go. And it's on the script. I'm going to do a wait for child because sometimes animations are slow to be loaded onto a script. And we don't want to get an error in the beginning of our game. So we'll say faceplant. Cool. Now what we need is we need an animation track. All right. So we're going to load the animation in the humanoid. And we have a humanoid here. So if you're doing this from scratch, you got to get your humanoid. If you got the humanoid, we can load our animation into our humanoid. I'm going to say faceplant track equals humanoid dot animator colon um, load animation. And then we'll put our faceplant animation there. Cool beans. All right, and now we need to catch that event. Remember, we added that puke event. So we're going to have our face tra uh, face plant track, and then let's listen for. We'll say get marker reached signal. Did I spell that right? And then we're going to look for the puke, and then we'll connect that to an anonymous function. Remember, there's no parameters. And we'll just do the print. This is where we would fire the remote event to puke on the server. So we'll say puking. And we'll watch for that. All right, that's cool. Get marker reached signal. Cool. Now we just have to fire this off at the right time. So I'll get my face plant track. We're going to go down here. Ah, oh, fall and puke. That's pretty cool. We'll put that there and then we'll just do a colon play and then I don't need my wait eight seconds anymore what I'm going to do is I'll do my face plant track and then I'm going to listen for the stopped event so we'll say stop and we'll wait right so wait right here until the stopped event fires now it's going to keep them there and if you want you can turn off your jump power here too right you have to enable it. You have to say like Hume. <clears throat> what is it? Uh, jump power and use use jump power. I think we'll find out. Use jump power. True, and then Hume jump power because you could pop up. Remember, jump power equals. Uh, we make should we make it like five or something, or make it low. Like 10 maybe you get a little flop and then we're gonna have to actually turn this back on I didn't mean to do that today I just I just thought about that this we can just leave on use jump power and then here we'll just put it back to 50 that's the normal jump power all right let's try it out Oh, 18 minutes. I wanted to do this in less than 20. All right, let's try it. We're almost done anyway. I think we are done. Oh, wait, we have to we have to look at our output. Let's make this bigger. Uh, control, there we go. Shift, run. Sorry about that. We want to see the puking. So we're slowing down. Totally wiped, puking. Our jump, we can just kind of flop a little bit, right? Jump power 10, so that was good. Now the jump power is back, but we're still walking slow until we recover. Anyway, let's try it one more time just to make sure we don't have any errors. Ah, oh, yeah. And I had a get up animation in my, um, in my demo, but it doesn't get up too bad. But you could add that, right? You could add that, right? down here get back up just like we did with this other stuff anyway i hope you uh, uh wish you luck on that one that one's kind of tricky don't get too frustrated with the animations they take a long time so i'll see you in the next video and we'll do some puking